Hello and welcome everyone. This is going to be a video for beginners about navigating the mist from Roads of Avalon. And uh, for this we're going to use a T5 Ox. I've heard a lot of people are afraid of uh, going into the portals. So we thought we're going to do this and uh, show what are your options. Also take a good opportunity to thank Arch TMLL for providing me this content. Uh, wouldn't be possible without them. Thank you so much. Of course, before I get into this, newbie is recruiting. Tax heaven is a heaven. Feel free to join us. When you're riding an ox, uh, it's very important to use the speed buffs. And like always, uh, you pick them up whenever you can and try to be aware if you see a blockage like that, the jungle is your friend. And now this real fight starts. How can you make the mobs hit your followers so they will get slowed? and will get a hard time to follow you. Uh, map awareness. Where are you at the map? Uh, what are your abilities to use in, in the map? Are the chests still open or are they down? Um, those are information that is very good to have. Looking at how the crossroads are, um, you always try to go for the wrong path here. Yeah, I'm gonna go down, but then turn back because now I'm gonna double my distance to my pursuer. They are gonna try to corner me now. You see them trying to get me to slow down, throwing some camelan. Now the tricky part, which way is the right way to escape? There are several routes and uh, from just doing this I would say probably should have gone back the same way. My mouth has plenty of health so I can just run through uh, one or two guys without a problem and the pursuers will still get trouble when we get back because when you see now I entered this and the all mobs was cleared so uh, this is a really bad spot for me trying to get them to slow down with uh, getting hit and you see here they are getting cornering, cornering me and that's the full corner now I'm not really sure here what to do uh, probably should have gone, just gone back because there are more space for me to use uh, instead of going towards the position I did here uh, I think this was the bad call you see that firewall is really nasty to work with good thing here you see uh, this uh, ox has still just a T5 it's plenty of health to work with it takes a lot of damage to take down here blood leather just try to escape and now I fail totally just think about that wind wall pushed it the right way that would have been a lifesaver but here they corner me and I die good run you see there's lots of space to improve on here but uh, mostly when that happens you're dead and if you're riding an ox and you get dismounted you're mostly just dead as well because you will be overweight so we're going at it again we got a pursuer from the start and I'm just going to say I'm sorry for both myself and uh, the video I have a bit, bad, a bit of lag here all through the video see here I'm going past then going back which makes everyone just jump in ahead of me and gives me space to work with when I'm uh, turning back it's gonna happen soon again you see 
trying to get the mobs hit them. Go, go down, go back, and most people just head straight on. And this is this fight actually is one of the reasons I really love Albion. Uh, I don't have much value on me, but when this happens, I'm sure as hell get my heart outside my body and just feel the blood rushing. I'm getting so much crap on me now. I <laughs> did so far. And as I said, big shout out Arch. Thank you for making me go through this. Uh, it was really learning experience. So, how should we get out of this? Uh, when I go up here, I will fake left and then go right. And next uh, junction, uh, we want to fake going past it and dive back down. And of course I know I have the uh, portal available for me, so now I'm just thanking the nice people here and heading out. So, we're going in again. Uh, as you can see, it's really good to just practice this. Uh, my current setup uh, is uh, just about to 250k, uh, but for me, it's just well, well, well worth it. Uh, this time, I think I lost the pursuer straight away there. Didn't want to follow. Uh, and now I'm gonna show you. If you get trouble and you don't have any good exit, uh, it's really useful to be aware of your mobs around you. Here I have mobs on my right and the left, uh, which makes it possible for me to, if I get pursued, run straight into them to get protection. Uh, or actually the pursuers will have aggro from them and they need to de-aggro from them because they're gonna get slowed down. Uh, if they, if I just run back through them, uh, which will give me protection. So that is a bit of vital. And uh, now we're gonna see what, why we want uh, awareness of the portal. You see, uh, checking. I have 50 seconds. The question is, how long would it take for me to travel back? Because all the porters are used. So I could have just logged out, I could have just uh, waited to see if uh, the charges are getting used, but I will say YOLO, let's do this, I got no time for waiting for others. Here, go right, so I know I have more time and the portal is not up yet, I got people on the upside, he's turning back, I'm turning back, getting space between us. Here I should have just stayed there and waited for them to dismount which uh, would have given me time to reposition because if they dismount there I can just run away from them because their 10 seconds uh, won't be enough for them to catch me. And, uh, you see here the mount is still very tanky so it takes a lot of damage to get me down. And if you can see, I have like no health at all. So my available options are, as shown, which should we take? The red one should have been the one, but you'll see why. Uh, the yellow here is gonna be the one that's gonna kill me. Uh, and of course, you see my m mount has really low health, started to re regain some, but uh, that probably won't be enough either way. So if I would have gone uh, to the faked left, faked forward and gone to the right, uh, the circulation there, uh, probably have had the better options to survive. 
Here I want to make sure everyone knows, invisibility potions, if you take damage, it goes away. Uh, good to be aware of what you have around you and using them while you get AoE spawned around you. Not gonna survive that. As you can see, damage breaks it. So uh, be careful about that. And also using abilities will also break the invisibility. But otherwise it's a good option, but maybe not the best. Not sure actually what's the best you can take the resistance potion or actually try the major sticky potion. I really like it because if you put it on a, uh, a small path uh, you can run through it yourself but the others can't or they can but they're gonna get really slowed so uh, that might actually save you. So here's gonna do a classical run around thingy. You see, the left one's gonna dismount. I just head back, take the speed boost, and I just know that I need to go back to the through the portal again. Yeah, there's no real issue for me to if I'm transporting stuff to risk it. They, the f funny thing about gankers normally uh, patience isn't the best things uh, and by now I think they actually know my name by this time and I've played a bit too much with them so they know I'm just uh, pulling their legs because I'm getting less attention by now uh, as they already killed me twice and see I don't have anything on me. But still, here you see, this is a really good part where you will see how much damage uh, you can uh, get someone. You see it's getting really low. About 50% of health on the mount. And he's probably doesn't really like following me at the moment. But he keeps at it. Got to give him credit for trying. And there he will leave me. Probably gonna join his friends at the uh, group gate. So we add it again. We get one behind us. Let's see what we can do for fun about this. Uh, from the hunter perspective, this is probably the most irritating thing to, to get with you. <laughs> you see the turnaround is always useful. It really puts people off and they can't dismount until they are actually ahead of you and pretty good way ahead of you. Uh, so staying around the speed marks, uh, you should eat everything you need. And as long as they don't get friends that corner you, that's just about what you need. So I'm gonna go and face check some arch friends and it's like oh shit and there's more now here we go we're gonna go fake it and then we turn back and let's see if we can actually make this as well the mobs here they're dismounted they're gonna take a lot of damage and disruption here and they decide to just stick to the gate it's too much to ha ha hassle to actually follow this one. And they probably just tired of me. 
Uh, here you can see I'm just going to show you a path that's really useful. Uh, it goes a long way, and the uh, road. But if they were going to go and try to cut me off, uh, I would say go past the first gate and then uh, go back onto the road again. Uh, that's probably going to be the most statistically safe way to do it uh, because they're probably going to try to cut you off at the closest one because uh, they don't have anyone following me. So here I see there's still a lot there and I'm thinking let's find out what they have there. This is me just finishing off, having some fun and uh, there are a lot of arch there, so I want to know what they're up to. And here we got a big lag spike. And uh, really irritating. Hopefully that this will be fixed for me in the future, but it's still possible to survive with an ox, even though we got major lag spikes. So, thank you for tuning in, tuning in, uh, riding an ox through the mist, uh, it's possible, uh, I would say I'm uh, using spectre shoes, uh, you should probably, if you're ha carrying anything, you should probably have uh, um, like soldier boots, but if you get dismounted you're probably dead anyway. But uh, either way, thanks for tuning in. See you around. <laughs>